Hey guys, it is me Stace. I am back again today with another Sunday with Stace episode and today we are making little snowmen from these wooden blocks. We just had these in our shed and I have this little base here and I went ahead and painted all these pieces white. Uh, first I'm going to flip the base over and hot glue some felt to that. I'm just going to go around the edges. A little bit in the middle and then flip this over and glue this to the back side and you can find scraps of wood at your local um, lumber yard like Lowe's or Home Depot. All right so we have that done and I just use regular white acrylic paint from Walmart. All right so I'll keep it from scratching. Now I have some sandpaper over here. I'm going to cut a little piece of this off. I want to sand down some of the edges. Just so it kind of ages it a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same for my snowman. I need your opinion below. I'm using my new camera today. I did play around with the settings yesterday, Hubby and I did, um, to adjust the lighting. So hopefully, it looks like it's okay in, the, in my viewfinder, but I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on the video. All right, so just go around and sand them. If you don't have blocks, you can probably use um, like maybe like macaroni and cheese boxes, something that would resemble a rectangle, maybe spaghetti boxes really anything. Okay, so I think that one's pretty good. Just want to get it to where they're not so perfect. This is not the best sandpaper either. It's the only sandpaper we had. Okay. Just figure out which one you want to be the front. I want to paint on the noses and the eyes. Get more on this one here. Okay. Now that I made a mess, let me grab a wipey. Clean that up a little bit. So we have the base and we have our snowmen. All right, so now I'm gonna grab a little plate. I have black paint. Again, that's just from Apple Barrel or from Walmart, it's the Apple Barrel brand. Then we have some orange. Oh, that orange is wet. It's running, let me shake it. It's probably a really old paint. Yeah, that's really watery. All right, so we're gonna first take the end of a paintbrush you can also probably use a marker. I'm going to kind of dab some of that off to see first how it's going to look. I want the eyes to be a little bigger. Okay, so we're going to leave that one alone to dry and then do this one. Make sure I have the right end. This would be fun for the kids to help out with. Okay, so we have his eyes. They're already cute. Okay, and we're just going to fix this eye. Okay, now I'm going to take another paintbrush with the brush part, and hopefully I'm gonna paint a nose. I'm not the best painter in the world. I'm gonna first try on the sandpaper to see. Okay. So just a little orange there for the nose, the carrot. And the 
bigger one will get a little bigger of a nose. And then we'll give this guy a little nose. All right, I'm gonna go back, oops. Let me clean that up real quick on my mat. I'm gonna go back and now do some dots of black for the mouth. He's so cute. I absolutely love snowmen. Okay, so there's, let me just finish that dot, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm gonna do this guy. Aren't they cute? All right, now to finish these up, I'm gonna go ahead and close up paint. All right, so I got it on my board here. Let me go in and get my little sponge. I just cut up a kitchen sponge, or oh, I wet it first, then cut it, and I use that to sponge paint them. All right, now what I wanna do is attach a scarf. So what I have here, I have this green raffia. I'm gonna put the green on the bigger guy. You can also use fabric if you want to, or felt. Anything will work. I'm not messing up this paint job. I'm gonna kind of tie it to the side. And then bring that down so it kind of hangs like a scarf would. And then cut some of it off. Oh, isn't he cute? So cute. All right, let's go ahead and do this guy. We're gonna do him in this red, although I think it looks more pink. I'm gonna do the smaller guy in the red. And you can use anything here for this scarf. You, like I said, you can use fabric, you can use ribbon, you can use felt. bring it down and, crank and crease it so it stays down. Cut off the actual pieces and then just move it up if you need to a little bit. Maybe. There we go. All right, now this one I'm gonna do in just this um, jute cording I have. They're just gonna sit. So I might hot glue them onto the base. Because I know come Christmas time I'll probably lose one of these snowmen. So I'll probably hot glue them on there. Okay, and again I'm gonna kind of bring that down and pinch it so it stays in that downward position. Oh, okay. So there is a one snowman. How cute in this one the baby. All right, so we're gonna put them on our block. We have that one there, the little one in the front, and the other guy. I'm gonna fix this scarf. Bring it up some a little bit. I'm gonna bring that down. Okay, he's gonna go back here, right? All right, let's go ahead and hot glue them on there. I'm gonna take this guy, be careful of the paint. That's probably still a little wet. You don't want a whole lot of glue, otherwise it's gonna seep out like that one did. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit of glue just to help hold him down. He's gonna go here. Like I said, you could pick up all these um, pieces at your local lumber yard, or if your, if your husband does any kind of woodwork, or even if you do woodwork. This was like a one by two, I think, is what the size of this was. Okay, I'm just gonna sit on them. Let them dry up a little bit, and I'll flip them over and you guys can see. Okay. How cute, right? Little snowman family. He's got something on him over here. Let's see if I can grab that white sponge again. Let's see if I can fix that to get rid of that black. There we go. Super cute, I absolutely love it. 
All right, guys, there you have it, our Sunday with States episode. Any questions at all, please let me know. Like I said, if you could, just leave me a comment below on the audio and the lighting or the quality of the video. I would um, definitely appreciate it. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.